So uh, the next plugin I want to show you is a really useful one which I use constantly. It's called Rotate 90. So if you go to the uh, SketchUp warehouse, you can download it for free. Um, this is the one uh, by Clark Bremner. And what this allows you to do is very quickly flip any object 90 degrees in any axis. So as a quick example, let's just go into 3D here. Let's just take this chair and we'll copy it just to put it outside of the room. So um, the best way to use this plugin is to link it to shortcut keys. So if I want to quickly rotate it, I just click Shift and B and it will rotate it 90 degrees around the, the blue axis or Shift and R 90 degrees around the red axis or Shift and G 90 degrees around the green axis. Um, and you, if you had to do that with the native, native SketchUp tool, you have, to take the, you have to click the item, you have to bring in the rotate tool, you have to anchor it somewhere and then click once, click twice, type 90 degrees, press enter and it's a very cumbersome, tiresome way to do it. So um, using Rotate 90 just makes it so much quicker. So uh, in order to uh, add a shortcut key, um, it just works the same as any shortcut key in SketchUp when you're trying to add one, but you must make sure that there's uh, at least one object selected, otherwise it won't show up uh, in the shortcut list. So go to Windows, um, Preferences, and then uh, you can see we're on the shortcut um, list. Um, so type in the search box rotate, then um, that will show you all the available um, functions for rotate 90 that you can add a shortcut to. So uh, let's click on this one, uh, edit item rotate 90 around blue, which means the blue axis. So you can see I've already got a shortcut assigned there, but if I didn't, you just click in the um, top box, add shortcut, um, then press the key that you want to use as the shortcut. Um, you can have a combination of keys, so I can press Shift and B, and then you just press the little plus button to add it. Um, as you can see, I've already got it uh, assigned there, so I don't need to assign it again. And then the same for the green axis, I've got Shift and Green, uh, shift and G, sorry, and then the red axis, shift and R. So we can close that now. So just to give you an example of how I use it within a kitchen model, let's say I want to bring some cabinets in um, using our Flex Tools uh, extension. So come in here, let's say we want a 600 cabinet, so we choose this one. So as you can see, it's facing the wrong way, so you quickly shift and B and it will flip it round and then you can put it into place. So let's put some more cabinets in and you can see just how quickly that's working. No need to use the rotate tool at all. And then, so let's say we want to put some on this opposite wall here. Just click a cabinet at random, click it a couple of times and then it snaps to the wall and that's how easy it is to use. So obviously you can use it in 3D mode as well. I'll just click to the relevant scene. So another way um, I find this tool really useful, let's say we want to address the scene a little bit, we want to put some decorative items uh, in the scene. So if we just open our uh, SketchUp cabinet importer. So these are just some little decorative items which I use quite often in a scene. So let's just have this little thing here, but let's say I want it on this wall. Just quickly press Shift and B, and you can see how quickly it flips round, and then we just snap it into place. 